Newsflash, the stomach flu isn't the flu. It's just what you tell your boss when you're hungover. Science. Each year, infection by the influenza virus hospitalizes more than 200,000 Americans alone. But why do so many people fall so ill? In this case, what you don't know can hurt you. So let's clear up some misconceptions about the flu. There's a notion among grandmothers everywhere that going out in cold weather will give you the flu. Winter is indeed peak flu season, but experts think it's our tendency to actually stay indoors during these months that gets us sick. When you share air and surfaces with gross infected people, you're more likely to be exposed yourself. Oh my god! 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 Another myth is that the flu vaccine can give you the flu. Okay, listen, injected flu vaccines do not use active viruses. They use either virus proteins or inactivated viruses which have been chemically murdered. Meaning that there's just enough virus protein left to trick your immune system into thinking there's a threat and attacking. The white blood cells that your body makes in the future will thus be primed to attack any invader bearing those proteins. But the crippled viruses can't reproduce, so they can't infect you. In a horrifying twist, nasal spray vaccines do contain live viruses, but they're modified so that they can't survive at your normal body temperature. They can thus only cause infection in your relatively cool nostrils, which may give you a couple of days of the sniffles before your immune system clears them out. Okay, the flu vaccine doesn't work all the time. First of all, it's most likely to be effective in younger, healthier people. Second, there's the question of how well this year's vaccine will match with the flu strain, or strains, that emerge as threats. It's a huge challenge. Influenza isn't a chunk of unchanging genetic code. Different strains evolve all the time, and more than one strain can spread in a single season. Every year, the vaccine is concocted from three or four strains that researchers estimate will be the most active based on data from patients around the world. That's a pretty stupid thing to do during flu season. I bet she's getting her tongue. And then there's the idea that the flu is no worse than the common cold. The symptoms are similar, but virulent strains of the flu have killed millions. The flu is harder to fight. It weakens your body and occupies your immune system's attention, making you susceptible to other diseases like bacterial pneumonia and pre-existing conditions like heart disease. And what's worse, the people most in danger from flu complications often can't receive the flu vaccine at all. Their immune systems can't handle even inactive or weak viruses, which is why doctors and public health officials urge healthy people to help their fellow humans out and get vaccinated. If you don't get the flu, you can't spread it to someone more vulnerable to its effects. So tell me, have you gotten the flu in the past couple years? And remember, the stomach flu doesn't count. You can learn why in our article 10 Misconceptions About the Flu on HowStuffWorks.com. We're getting a flu season here, and I just wanted to give everybody a heads up as to what to expect with getting a flu shot. I'm always really good about knowing when I'm about to get sick, uh, and as of yet, I have not experienced any physical side effects, uh, none at all. I would definitely see that coming like a mile away. So uh, stay tuned. I will post on here if anything weird starts to fit. And it's, it's, it's,